Alright, well, hey guys, Genesis15, and welcome back to Summon Knight, a, Su a Swordcraft story. It's the first one. So, I played this a while ago, and I thought that I had more uh, stuff stockpiled, and I remember stockpiling more videos for this. But, me being dumb, I uh, changed computers and I didn't save anything that I had before. So, um, looking at this now, I am replaying my game, replaying the story. Um, I took Xantec back, because I, like, 100% forgot that I wasn't using Xantec. Um, that I was using somebody else. But, wait. I can, oh, I can change it between each. Ooh, right. Alright, so. I am picking up where the video left off last time I played this. Chapter number three, part three, where I was reversing Kenan. You're late. I was wondering if you decided to leave the tournament after all. Shall we call our guardian beasts? Indeed. Summon up! Cool. I wish I knew how to do that too. You're right. It's more fun to have you around all the time. Are you both ready? Yes. Yes. As Craft Knights of Western, fight with honor and dignity. This is the twelfth match of the tournament. Tournament. Canon versus Genesis. Fight! Enchant Spark. This is gonna be shocking. Oh, I didn't guard. I didn't guard fast enough. get agility but I'm trying to get more like damage and stuff. I deserve to lose. You were better than me on this day. I'll never be beaten by someone who thinks a weapon is just a tool instead of an extension of himself. Congratulations for winning your second match and for getting here on time. Thanks but I always felt like I was about to lose and I couldn't have won without Daiki. You're pretty good. What do you want, Mr. Genius? Can I speak with you, Genesis? Me? Kanan is a novice craftsman, but a skilled fighter, yet you defeated him anyway. I admire your ability, and I can't wait to meet you in the tournament, so I can defeat you with a weapon I've made myself. Make sure you don't lose before our match, Genesis. I want to be the one to beat you. What are you talking about? He's declared that you're his rival, and he's not someone you want as a rival. No problem, I've already beaten him once, and I'll do it again! 
He underestimated you in your first fight. He won't make that mistake twice. Hmm. I think it's time for a little rest and relaxation. Let's go for a walk. Where should we go? I'll be going to the park. Oh. Oh, Genesis, what brings you here? No particular reason. Hey, this is where I first met you, isn't it? I like it here. No one knows who I am. Nobody calls me master or treats me differently. Whenever someone finds out that my father run my father runs the found out whenever someone finds out that my father runs the there should be an S there, that's wrong right, wrong. Um, the gold guild, they start kissing up. They pretend they, to like me, and they don't even know but they don't even know who I am. But I don't expect you to understand how I feel. Actually, I do. Oh? Uh -huh. My dad was Shintetsu, the craft lord of iron. Have you ever heard of him? Of course, what kind of craft knife doesn't know the legendary Shintetsu? Now I understand. Now I know how you defeated me so easily. He has more confidence in my abilities than I do. And about this business of buying and selling weapons from novices. I've told my father not to do that anymore. Really? Yes, he's promised me that the Gold Guild would never do that again. That's great. Thanks, Varl. I didn't do it for you. I'm going home. Day three. Hey, Genesis, this is really important. What happened, Master? What's the rush? Um, what are all of you doing? Don't just lay your butt there, it's Razzy! Razzy! Ah, that hurt me ears! What in tarnation! What are you doing, Daiki? What in the bloody hell do you want? Daiki wants you to calm down. Uh, uh, I see. So, what's going on? Here's the story. My sister. She's a beautiful girl. What about her? Uh, she's got a kid called Razzie. And the kid's missing! Razzie's gone down into the labyrinth under underneath the central tower and has yet to come out. Master was so panicked that he ended up straining his back. Cut it out! Don't you dare say that any say any more. If me back didn't make so much, I'd gone there meself. No way, Master. You're not going down there. <laughs> so I'm asking you to help me out, Genesis. This is the next technique. You're gonna need something like this to be on par with your enemy, your enemies. Good luck. I'm counting on you. So, if you don't know the premise of this game, it's actually really fun, and it's something that I didn't, I didn't know I'd like as much. So, you are this kid that learns how to... Hold on, let me do this one first. Oh, that's good. That takes up so much of my other stuff. Oh my god. But what is that? So what is this? Sharp Dagger. Well... I need to go back down. Oh no, I forgot to do the new technique of this. Well, I think I'm going down to the mines. This is probably going to be better. And let's get the axe and the knuckles. So now I've got three items. Support magic. Uh, he'll be fine. All right. Well, I guess I'm going down into the mines to find Razzy. I keep forgetting. This should be a fun one, though. Like, ra uh, oh, sorry. So, the premise of this game is you are this kid. You can either be a boy or a girl. For some odd reason, I always pick the boy character, um, just because I am a boy, obviously. But I enjoy, like, being a guy, so I always pick the boy character, no matter what. Even if I have the choice to be a girl, 
I always want to be a guy. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a guy. I just... It's... I don't know. It's weird for me. Some people, like, my best, one of my best friends, like, he, he always, um, picks, picks the opposite sex when he plays games. Like, if there's a chance for him to be a girl, he's gonna play the girl. Which is not bad. He just has his own preference, and that's totally fine. Um, but, you can be a boy or a girl, you can make your own character thing, which is really nice. Obviously. As you can see, I made Genesis. I think the original name is like Edgar or something. But like, anyway, um, the premise of, of it is that you are a up and coming kid that is trying to make that makes weapons. It seems like this is an olden time of when weapons were made because this game looks very, very. Um, not futuristic, but really olden, or set in an older time, sorry, set in an older time type of deal. So your character is an apprentice making weapons, trying to get used to making weapons, like you make weapons for your living. Your father has disappeared or has died, I haven't gotten to that part yet, I believe he's dead, but if not dead, he's, he's disappeared somewhere. And so, you are being taken care of by your mother. You've been taken in to be become a sword, sword crafter's, a sword craft apprentice, to become a sword craft lord. It is up to you. Ooh, forgot about that. Was that I didn't realize that was there. Ooh, look at that. These. Martial ore, tinder, martial ore. Small tinder, martial ore, coffee mug, interesting. And so, um, the premise is, the labyrinth is filled with monsters of summon, of summon creatures, like the creature that you get in the beginning of the game. Um, I played it and then I restarted it, because I recorded it for a bit, but I, when I restarted it, I actually had, I had, um, Zantek, who is, who is the, um, the mechanoid, if I tried that right, the thing that flies around with him, um, or there was an animal one, and I was like, mm, let's try the animal one, I don't really know what happened. Alright, I'm gonna kill you first. Because at least with the gunner drone, it's gonna be not as bad, it's just gonna be annoying. He's just really annoying, because I have to jump to get him. Um, but... Alright, let's go down more. If I remember, I should be finding Razzies. Oof. Hate this guy. Hate the spinners. They do a lot of damage, but they're very weak. Like, they're not strong, but they do decent damage. Which can get really annoying. Um, but, the fun thing about this game is that you can, I, you can, up, it's like a JRPG type of thing, which is what I really enjoy out of this now, too, is it makes me, it makes it feel like a JRPG when it's sort of not. They, they, they find ways to attack when, when, when I'm not, like, when I can't do anything. Should have more bandages. Oh, great. Now I have both of these jerks. Get up. It, those are just, those are just annoying. Ooh, I leveled up again. Um... Obviously, I'm gonna go with some more damage. Next one should be, um, the next one I go to should be, um, not health, um, defense. The next one I should go to is defense. And 
once I get more like XP and more minerals and stuff, like more things to use, I can I can upgrade the not sort it's like a sort of upgrade type of thing, but it's um it's something that I can do with some with some of the items that I have that will allow me to that will allow me to put um, more of like elemental damage like fire water ice type of thing which is really cool okay, you know what I'm just gonna shock these things thank you so much easier Obviously, I sh it shouldn't be like my first instinct to go and shock them, but it so totally helps. I don't remember where Razzy is. Like, technically, Razzy fell into a. Oh, it's the axe! The axe does so much damage. But. Like, the Spell Sword and the Spell Axe give me a good amount of XP, and will usually always give me Mystic Orb, which will allow me to do other things. Yes! Good find, good find. I keep forgetting that the Spinners have, like, 200 damage. 200, 200 health. But, now that I'm doing, like, decent damage, like, I should be good. Come on. Well, I don't want to waste um, free XP. Even if it's jumping XP. But XP is XP. Like, anything is going to help. Anything and everything that I have. Get up, get up. I'm gonna have to go back to level 3 to get to level 4 to get that. Um, to replenish my health. Haha, I win. Yes, more mystic core. It's always helpful. Yes. I love fighting these things because the spell axe and the spell sword. Like, yes, they're, like, supposed to be harder enemies, but they do so- they give- they give so much experience points, and they're not as hard to beat. Like, sad enough to say with that, like, they're really easy to fight, because of their combination and how they fight. Like, it's not super hard to kill them. This is gonna be super annoying. That's also what I hate about this, like, some of the animations are like, ju they're just far enough where I can't hit them, but they can still hit me, type of thing. Aha! Alright, yeah. Ah, there he is! Razzy's right down there. Yes! Spell Axe! Haha! <laughs> doing 62 damage? Dang! I didn't realize I was gonna be doing that much damage. Oh no. Oh god. Just keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking. Figuring out which one I'm killing first. Boom. I should go back up. Ooh, 40 and 50 damage. Doing decent damage now. That's pretty good damage. Ha 
Boom. Yes. There goes Daiki. First flare. First flare? When did he learn fire magic? When was he gonna learn fire? What? I didn't realize this guy learned fire magic. That's... That's so cool. The game update? No, I'm gonna update. Oh my gosh, he knows fire it. He knows fire magic. Oh my gosh, that that would totally work near Myself. Done. This is also the thing. I'm also out here. Hmm? Voice. Yeah, that could be Razzy. Let's check out some other places. I do hear some. Let's go, Daiki. Kid down here? And if so, does he have knuckle weapons? What is this woman doing this down doing this down deep in the labyrinth? So, she looks familiar though. Where have I seen her? She's beautiful. Uh you are I see. Who is she? She seems to recognize me. You're trying to become a craft lord, aren't you? Y yes ma'am. This sword belonged to a man who once protected Western. The City of Swords. It isn't an understatement to say that Western still stands above the ocean thanks to this man, the crafter of this sword. She started talking all of a sudden, but I guess she wants us to pay attention and listen. It's been three years since... Three years ago? It's when my dad passed away. Oh, so his dad is dead. Okay. The look on your face is telling me you don't understand what I'm talking about. Uh... You don't have to understand it now, but just remember. The man who forged this sword was a great man. Yes. And, by the way, I have a quick question for you. Did you hear any voices nearby? We're looking for someone. I think I heard something like a voice. Are you looking for a friend of yours? He's not really a friend, but my master asked him asked us to look for him. I see. Then I suggest you see for yourself. I heard it from the crap over there. I hope you find this person. I sense that this individual will become a special friend to you. No. It's collapsing! Bye bye! I'm sorry, I'm alright. We carried you here together. I think you owe us some thanks. It's pretty tough, you know. I'm sorry, I must have passed out. Who are you, by the way? Oh, are you the Masters? I mean, Bronze? Yes, Bron is my uncle. Oh, did you come here to rescue me? Nice to meet you, I'm Raz. Oh, and by the way, you know what? I haven't replied yet. I'm glad you came to help me, but we can't get out because we can't climb through up there. Climb up through there. Therefore, we're gonna have to find another exit around here, somewhere, but, but, you'll see when we get there. Come with me! Uh, Razzy's gone already. Look at that big old summon creature blocking our way. Whoa, that's huge. What are we going to do? What do you want us to do? Let's turn back. There's no point in heading back. A Craft Knight is bound to fight. Good luck. I guess you're right. Looks like that's the only way out. Let's do our best. That's the spirit. Can 
Can I heal myself? Oh no, I'm totally fine. Alright, spider time. Yasha spider. Can't block that. Okay, good to know. please. Yes! I beat it! Victory! With the axe. Did not think I was gonna win that one. More damage. That creature was pretty weakened. I guess Razzie had been fighting it too. You guys are great! You totally defeated it! Hey, may I call you Big Bro? What? That's it! I've decided to call you Big Bro. From now on. Uh, really? Now I'll go back go I'll go ahead and check. He's gone again. for a second. It's a dead end. Hmm, let's head back and figure out some other way. He's gone again. Shall we go back, head back too? Now, what are we going to do, big bro? How should I know? Do you ha don't you have any ideas, Razzy? Of course not! What about you, Taiki? Aw, uh, nobody has any ideas? What should we do now? Well, in this situation, we can either look around some more, or rest up and resume tomorrow. I know it's not the quickest way out of here, for sure. But it's the only one we have for right now. Unless someone can come up with a better one! That's it! Big Bro, you were there at the opening ceremony, weren't you? What's this all of a sudden? Me too. My dream is to win the... To win the tournament and become a craft lord. That means you're my rival, big bro! So Razzie's also working to become a craft lord. It's all fair in game it's all fair game in the tournament. So whoever wins, no hard feelings! But I just hope that we don't have to face each other until much later in the tournament. You're so strong that you could even defeat that summer creature. It was because Razzie, you were the one who weakened the monster enough for me to finish it off. Fighting you in the finals would be fun. I should be much stronger by that time, you know? Sure. Hey, what are you going to do after you become a craft lord, big bro? Huh? I'll plant a huge flower field. I'll make it capital- I'll make- I'll make western into the capital of swords and flowers. You think it's possible, right? But I know I can do it. In western, there's a place where lots of flowers grow. That's my secret place. A place where lots of flowers are blooming? In western? Hey, you in there, aren't you? are in there, aren't you? Huh? I heard a female voice. Oh, that must be Sandry. I am so stupid. If somebody's there, say something. Hey, we're over here. Just wait for us. Come on, Razzie, let's go. Yeah, big bro. Hey, 
Hey, big bro, climb up! Is somebody up there? Thank you, Sanry. Didn't mind it at all. I wasn't worried about you. Sanry, you really were worried about us. Thank you. I said that... I said that's okay, but here, this is for you. A letter? It was delivered when you were away. I didn't know what it was, but I was visiting your workshop at the time, and I received it for you. Thank you. You guys don't have to thank me like that anymore. By the way, Genesis, did you have to see my sister? Your sister, Sanry? I don't know, but we did see a lady earlier. A lady. Okay, I see. She was such a beautiful lady. Hmm, good for you. Huh? Uh, yeah. Hey, you, little kid, we need to go now. Our master will be worried. I'm not that little. Just come with me. Wah, don't pull me like that. Bye-bye, big bro. See you later. Sanry has no mercy. All right, now I have to read this letter. The next opponent is... Uh, you're kidding me. Razzie? Oh, my goodness. I didn't expect to run into Razzie this soon. You're right. We have to give it our all because we're fighting a friend. The last thing we'd want is to have any regrets. All right, Taiki. I'll push myself to the limit. I'm serious. Mystical light shines shines from the sky. Shines. Wow. Can't even say shine right. Oh, that's locked. Well, that's super helpful. Nope, that's not the right way. Oh. I'm gonna save it here. This has been a pretty good episode, actually. I got a lot of lore done. And I leveled up three times! So, thank you guys for joining me for this episode, and I hope we can, can keep continuing this series. Have a good one! Bye!